All right, what's up guys? It's Gary here with Deranged. I got Joe from Arizona behind the camera today. So uh, this video is actually gonna be on the Ice Co. Cooler. So what we wanna do before we take off for a ride, we've got uh, Mr. Big Red Cliff here. So Clifford, the dog. But we're gonna take off to Sand Hollow. We're gonna go right around. So what I did is I just barely got this installed and set into my Overland trailer. And real quick, so you guys can see, I've got it running off the DC power cigarette lighter. So whole 12 volt setup. Can you see it down there? It's Josh? flashing, but it says 29 degrees. Yep. Got it plugged in. I got little solar panels here on my trailer. So before we leave, I got warm drinks that we're gonna go ahead and stick in this bad boy and see how it does for when we get back. So, Joe, you wanna get a camera view on how deep that is? Plenty of room, that's for sure. Yep. So I even got some sodas. And the sodas we'll kind of put just in the top basket here. So far, everything about the build quality of this cooler looks awesome. Um, it's dead quiet as it runs. My only thing I need to think about is curious to see how long my battery lasts running it. Um, but I do have solar panels on the front constantly charging the battery, so we'll see. And then later on after we check this out, we'll do a little bit more of a review. I'll also do a quick walk around of our Overland trailer, kind of show you what we have on it and why this cooler is going to work so well with this setup. And then we'll go from there. So uh, we're going to head out for a ride now and then we'll get back with you and talk more about the cooler. Watch, dude. That gave me a haircut. Alright, Joe taking Big Clifford up uh, Gotta Be Nuts for the first time since he's been back, since we've had it back from Arizona. So, it's spent a little while back there. Alright, get to it! up and over not recording okay do it again what's that do it again just like that dude easy peasy again he makes everything look so much harder than it needs to be all right what's up guys gary here with deranged off-road and what we told you earlier about the ice co cooler um we had it set up while we left on a trip so now i'm gonna do the full review this is why i wanted to go with the ice co setup because uh they have a great cooler that actually fits perfect in the trailer. So I'll show you how I have that all done versus using my lifetime cooler and having to add ice and all that kind of stuff. So real quick, we put in a bunch of drinks in here. It's been running off my battery with some solar panels and everything in the setup since what time, Joe? Uh, it's about 10 o'clock this morning. About 10 o'clock this morning. We're pushing what, 2.30? Yep. 2.45. We dropped in the drinks like I've shown on the video, all nice and warm. Joe already had a soda, so we had some sodas, we had some water bottles, and everything turned out really, really cold. So real quick, let's just talk more about in depth on this cooler. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I received this for free from Iceco. They reached out to us, wanted to uh, give us one if we did a review on it. And it was actually perfect because I have been researching them for some time because I did want to get one to run in this trailer. So real quick to start off, Here's the whole power supply on this side. So what you have here is basically the whole panel, the plug-in, you got a DC 12 volt setup, and that's what I'm using right now. It's got a cigarette lighter converted into that. It plugs right into my setup here. I got a pergo switch. I got a full battery. And then I have even solar panels up here to trickle charge that battery at all times. So it plugs in there, you get it turned on, you hold the button, you set it where you want, you set it at the temperature you want and you go from there. It does have the option to get it down more of a deep freeze or more of a refrigerator. I think what you probably could do if you wanted to deep freeze stuff, get your frozen stuff when you're camping down at the bottom, put the stuff you don't want as frozen up at top and you should be good to go. But this whole setup right here is awesome. It's got everything that you need to be able to plug it into the wall or plug it into a cigarette lighter, whichever option you prefer. This is awesome. It's got great venting for the motor to keep it cool as it runs. Honestly, after we turned it on, it is dead quiet. It's running literally right now. So it's like beyond silent. 
It's got great hinged handles that are really well built. It's got a nice locking system here. And then when you pull it up, what we're looking at basically is like a 45, 46 quart setup. So I believe this is the 45 L something um, model, which, which is definitely like really big. It, it's kind of cool too. You got to lift out baskets, which is cool. So if you bury your stuff, you can just pull everything out on the table, get out what you need. It also has a smaller basket right there. It's got a built-in light. It looks like it's got great ceiling all over the top. Everything looks really well built. It's got different temperatures, so you can set to what you want to um, carry. It's also got your code, troubleshooting codes already here, um, and then everything else on how it works, which is pretty cool. It's almost like a built-in little manu, uh, manual sitting right there for you. The, the biggest thing is, though, is why I like this so much is, so, and I've already showed a few pictures. This whole unit sits inside the Overland trailer. So when we're towing it down, this Overland trailer was built for UTVs. It does work behind vehicles, but for UTVs as well. It sits inside the trailer. You can hook it up into my power system. Everything's closed out of dust. As we cruise around, when we get there and go camping, we can either pull it up and slide it out. We can leave it in and just bend over and pick out whatever we want as far as food goes, but no ice, nothing like that and have to deal with all that. So. I, I'm really curious to see how long my battery will last and if the and if the solar chargers will kind of keep up with it on like a couple day trip or whatnot. Um, but the other reason why I was reaching out and looking at wanting to get one is that, as you know, and I'll show some B-roll, I have a boat. We'd love to go to Lake Powell. I really feel like, so my boat has some 12 volt cigarette lighters as well. I can just plug it in in the boat, park it, don't have to worry about ice and we'll gonna have cold stuff all freaking day long. As you know, if you've been to Lake Powell or Havasu like we did this year, we got to see 123 degree temperatures. So it's a, it was wonderful, wonderful time. I feel like with this setup, we can leave it in the boat, plug it in, run it during the day, keep everything nice and cold. It's just, it's perfect. And overall weight wise, Joe, you helped me kind of lift it and stuff. It's not too bad. No, it's not no, bad at all. Overall, it's a little bit heavier than like a lifetime cooler or something like that as far as a 45 quart goes, but it's really not that much heavier. So let's walk around the trailer a little bit too. And, and this is why I like this whole setup so much to have that new ice chest from Ice Coa here, um, is I've got a built-in sink. I've got a built-in pump, an RV pump and a water tank below that's set up. So I fill the water tank. I have endless, not endless, but water here um, that works really, really well. All connected to the battery. I got a full stove that's set up here. I got propane line that runs from the front to the back with a propane bottle. So all that's set up so you can cook really easy. Uh, Joe, show them. I've got a little, I haven't slid this out. I got a little table here that actually lifts up and slides out. So I have my whole cooking area to put stuff on. And then of course we've got the rooftop tent. And then we have a full setup on this side where I run the Costco bins. They work great and you can put all of your gear and stuff, clothes, whatever you want in there and stack them and strap it down. They don't get dusty or anything. And then also I've got the full five gallon propane bottle. So that will work for a barbecue pit or whatever you want to bring as well. You've got plenty, plenty of propane. And then I also got a full storage little area here where I can take extra water, firewood, all that kind of stuff. And then of course the solar panels are mounted at the front. So. He's also pretty, got some some trailer lights that you don't yeah. need trailer lights when you're pulling behind a UTV. So. We'll get the link in, in for Amazon, and I bought those. And what's cool about it, they're magnetic. Um, so they just sit on real quick. They just pop right onto my fender. And then I set up. I usually run this cord. It's not down here. It's just for the door. Runs right up on the top. And they're just fully removable. So pop them on, pop them on set it up we'll run a link on there if you guys want to get a pair for any trailers that you're towing that you don't want to add a bunch of lights to and worry about the cost you can grab those and they're not very expensive so but yeah i think the overall thing was is i just really really am excited that iceco reached out to us and set us up with this because it's just like the last final piece i wanted for my overland trailer but you got to remember you're not you're not having to worry about taking up a bunch of space with ice anymore. So when you used to pack in food, you also had to pack in certain layers of ice, all that kind of stuff. And on this unit, you don't have to do that. So that's something to think about. You actually get more space. Yeah, 45 so, quart cooler is more like 28 quarts when you get your ice in it. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's kind of cool in my opinion because 
that alone just helps you store more stuff. I know we went on a Paiute trail ride quite a while ago. It would have been cool to have something like this in the back always strapped up because we had to make sure we had enough ice, all that kind of stuff, because it was like three or four days that we were gone. All right, guys, so that basically wraps up our review of the Ice Co. Cooler. So if you want one of these, head down into the description below. We will leave a link right to Ice Co. And they will hook you up with 12% off. And that code is deranged, off-road, one word, all together. But that will be included in the link, so hopefully we'll just add it. If it doesn't, type in deranged, off-road, one word, all capitalized, and you'll get 12% off. Joe, we just worked that out. What's that? Like 67, 68 bucks, on, bucks. This, on this bad boy. Mm -hmm. If you if you end up getting a, a bigger one, um, that's 800 or so. Of course, that, that amount will go up. So anyways, we uh, appreciate the opportunity to work with them and we appreciate the cooler and uh, we plan on using it for a long, long time. So until next time, this is Garrett, Joe on the camera, with Deranged Off-Road.